This border wall battle begins where the ocean meets the land in San Diego and goes 14 miles inland right through a national wildlife refuge. That area is an environmental hotspot. It has habitats for endangered species along its length. It has protected federal lands, national parks, national monuments, national forests. The state of California and environmentalists sued the Department of Homeland Security, saying it is using waivers to thwart environmental laws in order to build a border wall where a fence already exists. How many laws are being circumvented with these waivers? More than 30. So no environmental impact study, uh, no public outreach, no consultation with experts, no specific look at endangered species. They waived more than 30 other laws that aren't at issue in our lawsuit, like Clean Air Act, Clean Water Act, Safe Drinking Water Act. In 1996, Congress authorized waivers to speed up the process of building border barriers by bypassing certain federal and state laws. DHS is arguing it has the authority to continue to do so. That is how this fence ended up being built in the first place. The agency would not comment on the current case. Now, the case that could impede Trump's biggest campaign promise has been assigned to Judge Gonzalo Curiel. I have a judge who is a hater of Donald Trump, a hater. He's a hater. His name is Gonzalo Curiel. Then candidate Donald Trump launched attack after attack against the federal judge as he presided over the Trump University fraud case. CNN's Jake Tapper questioned Mr. Trump about it. I've been treated very unfairly by this judge. Now, this judge is of Mexican heritage. I'm building a wall, okay? I'm building a wall. I am gonna do very well with the Hispanics, the Mexicans. So everybody. no Mexican judge could ever be involved in a case well, that involves you? Uh, he's a member of a society where, you know, very pro-Mexico, and that's fine, it's all fine. But Except I think, that you're calling the question. I think he his should recuse himself because and he's then Latino. Then you also say, does he know the lawyer on the other side? I mean, does he know the lawyer? You know, a lot of people say. But I'm yes, not talking about that. I'm talking well, no, about that's like, another. That's another problem. But you're invoking his race when talking he, about whether or not he can do his job. Jake, I'm building a wall. Okay, I'm building a wall. I'm trying to keep business out of Mexico. Mexico's fine. There's nothing. But he's American. Mexican, he's an American. Uh, he's of Mexican heritage, and he's very proud of it. At the time, Trump's comments were condemned by many. Claiming a person can't do the job because of their race is sort of like the textbook definition of a racist comment. We asked the White House for comment on whether President Trump has changed his stance on Judge Curiel as he hears arguments in another case that could seriously slow down the building of a border wall. Uh, the White House did not respond to our request for comment. Uh, we should note that previous challenges to these waivers have been unsuccessful. We should also note that federal judge Curiel has never publicly uttered a word against Donald Trump.